It's media day here at the top ranked gym in Las Vegas where three division world champ Nonito Diner is gearing up for his junior featherweight world title fight against the Puerto Rican Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Let's head inside and talk to the Filipino Flash. You're going to be debuting at 122. How have you changed your training cramp and what are some of the challenges you faced? Well, I'm facing um, bigger guys for 122, you know, but the, 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 um, the changes that I've made is, is sparring bigger guys. I mean, the guys that I'm sparring right now are, are lightweights and, and, you know, they can pack a punch. They're, they have heavy hand and, and they just, they're like walls. You know, you're punching them and they just keep coming. And I'm ready for any type of fight that, that uh, 122 has for me. But, you know, the, there was definitely, definitely a, a difficult um, changes that, that I had to make and, and you know I got accustomed to it now so I'm ready for anything. You made a conscious decision to go into this fight with a game plan. You guys wanted to come up with a game plan. What is that plan and why was it so necessary to have one against Vasquez? Well just the game plan of, um, of you know for, first of all we just we go out there and, and, and train the best possible way but we, we uh, put any kind of game plan in our, in our, in our minds from you know from countering from moving to, to fighting, so we have all the all types of game plan going into this fight, and we're ready for anything that he gives us. You know, as far as your weight is concerned, you try to maintain a weight here, not drop weight abruptly. How has that helped you mentally and physically? Well, mentally, it's it's good for me. I'm not cutting down at all. I'm eating everything, and in, in it's even lechon. You're eating your palabok, everything. Everything. I'm eating everything. So, so it's it's a good thing mentally. You know, I'm gonna be the smaller guy uh, in coming to this fight, but. <laughs> I'm going to be the faster guy, I'm going to be the smarter guy, I'm going to be the healthier guy. I don't know if that's yeah. good enough, 122. That's because Junior is a bit bigger than you, something that you're not exactly used to. How are you going to compensate for that size difference? Um, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I just go out there and, and do what I need to do and, and accomplish my game plan and, and, you know, and just go from there. If there's one knock against you and it's hard to find holes in your game, it's that critics say you tend to fight smaller opponents. How do you plan on silencing these critics on February 4th? Just win. Just keep winning and, and just, you know, keep moving up and just keep winning. You know, that's, that's pretty much the, the, the game of it all. Is you win, you, you gain, you keep winning and, you know, you go higher beyond what you are. Right. Now, the Navarro's fight is obviously frustrating for you. What did you learn from that? What did you take away from that fight? Well, I've learned that, you know, I got to keep myself healthy. I got to keep myself in the gym. You know, even if it's a long layoff, at least, you know, I won't be too rusty. Uh, mentally, I'll be prepared. Um, but, you know, that's one thing that I've learned, you know, is, is to be healthy, to, to, um, to, be, to stay in the gym and, and come up with different, different type of strategy. And then that's why we've come up for this, for this year. We're ready for anything. And those two are very different fighters. Vesquez Jr. is a great counterpuncher. He's going to be pressuring you, going to be aggressive. Now, in boxing, if styles make great fights, and you guys have very similar styles, are you going to be able to use that to your strength? Yeah, I think, I think that um, whatever he gives me, I kind of am familiar with, with the whole thing. So whatever it is that he, he puts out there, I'll be familiar because, like you said, you know, it, it, we're, we have that type of similar style of, um, of just being um not awkward but but um we have good forms we we have we know our, our basics and jabs and straights and hooks so it's something that i can come up with right off the bat great. well we look forward to a great fight good luck to you and thanks for joining us thank you very much thanks for having me the Donito De Niro Fredo Vasquez Jr. fight will be the co-main event to the Chavez Jr. Rubio fight on February 4th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. If you can't be there, be sure to catch it on HBO Championship Boxing and watch all the undercards on Top Rank TV. For all your info and news, be sure to log on to TopRank.com. And for TopRank.com, I'm Nikki Reyes.